Congo is a beautiful country. People are very friendly. Very friendly and socialization is our main value. But today, people are afraid. So that socialization is no more. People are living for survival, that's not life. The big mining corporations that are exploiting uh, Congo resources. Then we started hearing from other parts of the world too, from Latin America, from Asia, that Canadian mining companies were very present. And Canada is not very present in the world compared to other big industrialized countries in many ways. So mining was really standing out, that this is where, oh, the Canadians are here, yes, because we have mining companies. Congo is one of the countries, and perhaps the, the most explicit example uh, of the phrase, the curse of natural resources. The UN report said 48 women are raped hourly. They have to destroy the community in order to get these men to do this. And, and that leads them to attack women and children in ways that have nothing to do with the mining itself and have everything to do with destroying the communities that these women and children are part of. Mining is tied into our way of life uh, as much as is agriculture, as much as is uh, the healthcare system, etc. Because whenever you travel in the world now, wherever there are mines, people will talk about Canada. What is the part as Canadians that we can own here? This change won't happen unless people like you and others share the message that what is going on is wrong. It's your time. It's your time as a young person to say, no, we don't want this world. We want this thing to stop.